Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discover how to attract a specific person in your life with your mind. This might seem like an impossible concept at first, but the truth is, you can indeed attract a certain person you have in your mind. The trick to doing it? Well, you just have to follow some of the rules of attraction. Most people start looking into the laws of attraction because they're tired of wondering when they will find their soulmate. However, there are certain people, some select few like you, who might have found their one, but don't know how to approach them. Maybe you're out here hoping for some miracle that they would be the one to come to you. And while this might seem a bit of a stretch, in the end, anything that your heart desires can be manifested. Well, let's see how we can get the person you want to you. But just before, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download the free book on the Law of Attraction by clicking on the link in the description below the video. 1. Self-confidence goes a long way. Self-confidence has an allure that nothing else can beat. When you feel good about yourself, when you think of yourself as worthy of what you desire, you automatically develop a glow around you that you never had before. The person you are attracted to is bound to look at you in a new and positive manner when they see you know your own value. So the first order of business would be to start having good thoughts about your own self. Try to think about all the things that make you a great partner to have in any kind of relationship. Try to think about how you are as a friend or a parent's child and exactly why the people in your life love you. Sometimes seeing yourself from the eyes of someone who loves you can help you change your own messed up perception of yourself. Do anything that you think will make you feel good about yourself. Start by making a list of all your positive traits. In your diary, try to write at least one good thing about yourself every day. 2. Change your perception about love. Your mind can be a scary subconscious influencer. When your own subconscious or conscious thoughts surrounding love are negative, you unconsciously end up engaging in actions that isolate you from others. By thinking you won't ever get the person you want in your life, or that you just have bad luck that won't get you the person you are attracted to, you are unknowingly instrumental in manifesting it into reality. Try to steer away from thoughts that verge on pitying. Thinking that people don't appreciate you, or that there is something unlovable about you, makes you close off to the people that do. And that's the truth. There are plenty of people out there who truly appreciate you, and there will be more people who will love you in the future as they get to know you, including the person you are trying to attract in your life. All you have to do is open your eyes and actually try to see it. When you allow yourself to truly want love, you create a wish in the universe to experience it with the one you want. 3. Say goodbye to fear. The most frightening thing about love is actually giving yourself the permission to experience it. It doesn't even have to be romantic love. Just the idea of opening yourself to another person, be it a new friend or a possible partner, can be frightening. After all, the moment you do, you're also giving them permission to hurt you in the future. You give them the chance to maybe leave scars that were never there before. You never know how your relationship with a person will turn out in the long term. One day, the very person you never thought would hurt you could end up destroying you. Then again, someone you expected to be the worst for you can also turn out to be the best possible match. That's just how it is. So when you keep this fear with you wherever you go, without even realizing it, you might be putting up barriers that don't let others come close to you. While you're here thinking why that person won't look at you, it could be that they did look at you and decided not to approach because it appeared you didn't want to have anything to do with them. Your subconscious desires could be so strong that people find it hard to approach you. Try and confront the feelings you are scared about. Try to accept the risks as part of your life. This way, your path towards the right partner would be open and clearer. 4. Try and have fun. Just take a look at any study out there about how you can attract another person. All of them point towards one thing, that most people are attracted to people who shine brightly. People who smile a lot, laugh, and just seem to be having a good time are simply attractive by all metrics. People tend to notice you when you are enjoying your life. To others, a person who seems to be living life to their fullest is much more appealing than someone who is waiting for life to pass them by. So go and do all the things that you want to do. In fact, you don't even need to do it for other people. Do it for yourself. Focus on the hobbies and activities that make you happy. Focus on things that make your day a little more brighter. 
When you are surrounded by things you truly love, you will become the fun, happy person you always wanted to be without realizing it. When someone sees the person burning inside you and the fun you are having with it, they can't help but be attracted to it. A part of your life's mission should be to simply enjoy the life you're living. And in the mix, if it gets the person you like to take notice of you, then isn't it all the better? 5. Look at the positive side of your chosen one. Well, this doesn't really apply to you if the person you're attracted to is somewhat of a new crush. However, if the person you have chosen is someone you used to have a history with, there could be some lingering resentment between you. Even if the love you feel for them is stronger, things can get complicated. The feelings you have for this person might do considerable ups and downs because of it. If the negative traits of the person you like keep on coming to your mind, unknowingly, you might be putting some distance between the both of you. Actually, this can also happen with a new crush as well, if you've been hurt by a past relationship. Constantly worrying that they would carry some of the negative traits of your previous relationship could cause this. Try and focus on the good things about the person you are trying to attract. Focus on the positive and keep your thoughts on them. Think about why you found the other person attractive in the first place. Don't be surprised when the change in your own attitude leads to a considerable change in the behavior of the other person as well. Before you know it, the person you've been trying to attract would finally be in front of you. 6. Enjoy this moment Do you know what really makes the law of attraction so useful? Why is it possible to attract things with your mind? Well, when your mind is at peace and sure of everything it wants and has somehow learned to live in the moment, anything is possible. You are creating so much positive energy in the universe that it's only inevitable that this energy will come to you. Try and enjoy what you have. In the end, the ultimate goal is to live this moment. What you need to do is feel what's happening to you right now. Hold on to the good experiences, enjoy them, and keep them a part of your memory. All of these good things accumulate to create a positive and better you. It creates the source of energy and makes it possible for more good things to become part of your life. The ultimate trick is to stop mourning about what you don't have. Instead, think about what you want and make a promise to yourself that you will get it. This will help the desire turn into reality. However, if what you want is something impossible to have, then you have to allow yourself to stop thinking about it. By constantly whining about not getting what you want, you will be feeding into negative energy. When you let go of the things that don't ultimately matter, you make space for the things that do, so they can fall into their rightful place. 7. Finally, let it go. Like all things in life, you will only get the person you want when you have learned to let go of them. Get rid of the idea that your life is somehow incomplete without them, that not having this person in your life will make your life any less beautiful than it is. The thing you really need to work on is self-care. You truly don't need anyone else in your life. You can be happy by doing the things you want, the things that give you joy. By focusing on your hobbies and interests, you will become a person with a fulfilling life. There is no one out there worth keeping your life on hold for. And then, when you've finally accepted that you can be happy without this particular person in your life, that's when they will come to your life. This is because, here's the thing, even that person can see you don't need them to be happy. They can see that you are a complete person in your life. They will be there to provide that extra bit of happiness, the same way you will be providing it to them. And we know it's not something easy to do. That one day you won't just wake up and stop yearning for the other person. It's something you have to work on, but with enough time and effort, nothing is impossible. One day you'll be able to see that your life is just as good without the other person in it. And when that happens, that's when you will be open to the love they will bring you. Final Thoughts We know none of these steps are easy. You can't just wake up one day and decide to be happy and find that you are immediately happy. It's a long and endless journey, and it can be sometimes tiring. Surprisingly, loving oneself takes up way more of your energy than one realizes. However, the ultimate result makes up for it. When you truly love yourself, you gain this capacity to love others the same way. A person who is happy with themselves knows how to make others happy without sacrificing their own worth. It's a feat that's not easy to achieve, though. That's why you have to work every day on it. You have to think positively, 
Work positively until the positivity becomes your truth. You have to get to a point where you truly enjoy your life and you aren't just faking it for the sake of others. And it's fine if it doesn't happen tomorrow. All of this is for you alone. You can take as much time as you need. Even when you're trying to attract another person, isn't the end goal to be happy? So even if happiness doesn't come the way you planned, it's fine. That said, the law of attraction will make sure it will. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You're also free to receive the new book, How to Use the Law of Attraction in 3 Simple Steps, by clicking on the link in the description below the video.